Y'all, smear my body up with butter and take me to the Freakers Ball. Oh, oh, that sounds kinky. <laughs> well, it is the Freakers Ball after all. Anyway, welcome everybody. Today is May 15th, 2020. And this is the Freakers Ball live. Moose Girl will be calling in momentarily, I assume. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I want to welcome everybody out there listening in all the various places you may be listening in from wherever that may be always good to have you here with us and it's always always good to have the mighty boost girl here with us as well hey that right hello hi <laughs> oh I, I was just saying it's always good to have the mighty boost girl here with us thank you yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <laughs> Uh, what is this popping up in the chat? Breaking story. Video surfaces of Drew, Joe Scarborough joking about having an affair with an intern and having to kill her. Well, <laughs> isn't that just pleasant? All right. Isn't that just special? <laughs> yeah, just wonderful. Great. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, anyway. Oh, so, uh, yeah, anyway, God. welcome to the folks out there on com on the Freakers Ball Show page. Or if you mm-hmm. tuned in on Vaughn.live slash Real Liberty Media there as well. If you're on the audio stream over there on Real Liberty Media or RLMRadio.xyz, I meant. <laughs> or maybe uh, <laughs> uh, maybe on RealLiberty.org uh, and uh, tune in wherever else we go. Uh, so all those places. So, so welcome to y'all out there. But also welcome to y'all in here in the chat room. Which uh, if you're not here in the chat room, come on over. Jump on into the chat. It's a good time. We have fun here. We talk about stuff. We chat during the show, and people can make requests, and you can talk about stuff we talk about. It's yep. Just, it's just it's a good old time right here in the chat, you know. Anyway, so it we, is. So we got we got we got a batch of folks in here. I, I, I see Beetle. I see Donna Damn Van Meter, and I see Barman. Barman just chatting it up. Uh, <laughs> hey Ben, he's a busy Wall. guy. Yeah, he is. He is. Hey, Benoit, how you doing? Hansel, K A K A J Dread, the Frump stuff, Frumpy. I, I saw Kate talking, Beers, Beetle. Uh, Frump my sir. CC66, Smart Ass. Smart Ass! Oh, <laughs> Java Doctor, uh, who else we got talking up here? I think I saw Kate up here talking. Uh, yeah, this, Kate and. She, Kate added a quote. Matt here. was here, but I don't think he's on now. Okay. Well, Kate added a quote. Uh, Kate added a quote here. Disobedience is the true foundation of liberty. The obedient must be slaves. Yes. Yes. Henry David Thoreau. Um, <laughs> right. Yes. Oh, and she also she, she also mentioned this article, the 2006 origins of the lockdown idea. Yeah, we covered mm-hmm. that on Freakers last week, uh, Kate. So yeah, uh, thank you for that. Sock puppet, I see sock talking. Rob works, yeah, yeah. Others, others, Prince, Chloe, all these people just chatting it up here in the chat. And there's a whole bunch of more people in here that are um, just h- hanging out, not chatting yet, or mm-hmm. chatting periodically. So uh, welcome to everybody. Good to have you all here with us on this. Yes, welcome. Continue continual lockdown mode. <laughs> not anymore for me. Is that right? Supposedly. You're you're free to move about the country. I am. Sweet. I mean, fuck it. <laughs> 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 I mean, okay. So this is how it went down in Wisconsin, right? All right. Just a little, a little gist of it, okay? So the governor did his thing ex- that went to April twenty fourth. Okay. Well, then his. Health department director or whatever, whatever she's called, head of the health department for the state or whatever, said, well, I think we should extend it to May 26th. So that's what the Supreme Court case was all about, was the extension of it by a non-elected official, okay? All right. I mean, who the hell is this woman that, oh, yeah, you better extend this lockdown to May 26th. I mean, it was... 
they had no authority. She, she had no authority to do that at all. Right. At all. I mean, so that's why the Supreme Court again shot it down. Good, good. So, you know, I mean, I mean, and then yeah. now people, bars and shit can open. Great. Which, there's all these other people out there, these hardcore people that fell for this thing, hook, line, and sinker. Uh-huh. Well, the bars is the worst thing that can be open because it's such close contact, and people get drunk, and they lose their inhibitions, and they they get right in people's faces and shit. And I feel sorry for the workers that have to work there, and blah, blah, blah. It's well, just like... You guys need to freaking chill the fuck out. The thing is, nobody has to work there. If they're going there, they want to be there. Right. Right. So, I mean, they, right. no, nobody's forcing any. Nobody says, you have to go out and mingle with people. Right. Um, if you don't want to go to the bar because it's open, yeah. stay home. Stay don't home. Don't go to the goddamn bar. <laughs> stay the fuck home. So, so, let me ask. So, are you now, you like. Work there. If you're uncomfortable. Quit your job. So, Get a different so, job. So, I don't so, know. I mean. All right. So let me ask. Is is everything like fully open? There's no like 25. No, no. It's not fully, fully open yet. But I tell you what. People are out and about. They're driving around. They're going places. Places that weren't open before are now open. Right. Like Azara, which is like the, where they sell bongs and shit. They're right. open. Great. Like, thank God. Well, you got to have the, bong, like, the bongs. The bongs. The the bong shop. I mean, they've is, been uh, they've been forced to close. Sorry, Grim. They've been forced to close for two fucking months and have zero, basically zero sales. Right. You know, I mean, making no money at all except maybe online. Yeah. But I looked at their stuff online. I I got my stuff from a place in California. Yeah. The the thing I needed the the battery cartridge I needed. Okay. You know what I mean? And it's like. I, you know, they've been out of business. I, I would have opened, too. As soon as that, that ruling came out, I would have opened my doors and said, come on in. Right. Oh, shit. Well, you know, a head, a head Sorry, shot. I stepped, on my, I stepped on my goddamn fucking headset cord. Oh, okay. But a, a head... Stand a, up for a second. A, a head shop is an essential business. you got to have the head shop open. Well, yeah. I mean, come uh, on. Yeah, so... You know, I mean, why was... You know, the way they did it, too, it, I'm sorry, they were unfair to a lot of businesses. Right. You know, they were totally unfair. Like, it, it, it was ridiculous. You know, and people, I am glad to see people coming out and saying, fuck this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Two months is enough. Yeah, I know. This is going around. They're just goddamn virus. Like, what, what was AIDS? What was all these other ones? Hang on. Hang on, Bruce. There's What's going on? There's something wrong with my audio thing here. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to have to reboot. Okay. All right, well. All right, okay, we'll be back or get whatever you want. And, you know, just, but online still, you can still get stuff online, so it wasn't like that. All right, I'll have to patch those back together later. Okay, it wasn't like that difficult to get stuff online, except for maybe the shipping took a little bit longer in some mm-hmm. cases, but... Other than that, that was fine. Um, I just, I was really getting antsy too. You know, I thought I was being pretty dang patient. Um, you know, putting up with it because whenever I started to get pissy about it or whatever, which I, I haven't been happy about it since the get go, but I'd be like, okay, but everyone's going through this at the same time. Right. So I'm not the only one experiencing this so you know you have to just buck it buck up and you know but i just like i was saying before too there has been disease and illness on this planet that has affected humans since pretty much the beginning of time yes i mean come on you guys they didn't have to do what they did as far as the lockdown crap. Yeah. And you know what? My theory is it was a soft martial law. It was an experiment to see how many people would go along with it. And a lot of people did. Oh, yeah. Easily. Most, almost everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, crazy. I mean, it's just 
there's got to be more to it than that. There mm. has to be. You would hope. Think about it. Why would they? Sh- why, if they, if AIDS was so prevalent back in the day, why didn't they do this back then? Why didn't they do it well, when there was other pandemics well, well, like I, I think with, the with, avian flu and? Okay, go ahead, Graham. Uh, well, I think with AIDS, it, it, I mean, you had to like. It's a blood. Yeah, they, blood. It was all, all from the safe sex. You couldn't just have casual sex anymore. Right, yeah. It was a blood transmission yeah. thing. It wasn't... Right, this, right. This but, stuff, yeah. they don't even know how it's transmitted. Right. Yeah, they have no concept, no idea. So... Right, uh, I mean, but it's just... You guys, think about this. There was a pandemic when Woodstock was going on. Right. Okay, 1969. or yeah, ni- No, it was actually 1968. It was a big, well, 68, 69, it was, it, it went 68, 69. It, it yeah, it was like a year-long thing. It, it, yeah, and they didn't close the fucking country down. No, they've never. This is the first they time. Didn't, right, they didn't close restaurants and churches. They, they didn't close they, the country down but, in 1918, you know. Right, oh my God. Think mm-hmm. about that. Yeah. Why this time? Why this time did they do that? Oh, they got to roll out all the new tech to, to monitor, trace, they, and track you. They, they want to mass vaccinate all of us, right? which that is not happening. I am not getting the vaccination, Me period. Yeah. Nope. And I'm not getting it tested, tested for it either. I am not doing either one of those things. Right. And I swear to God, I don't know how many motherfucking times <laughs> Trump and all these motherfucking people have said, and the anchors all over the country... Testing, 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 one, two, three. See, that's what it sounds like to me. Testing, one, two, three. You know how a band, when they're warming up and they're trying to set up oh, a sound sure, check? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, check, testing, check, testing, check, testing, check. testing, oh. testing, test, test, test. Well, well test, most, most of test, them, test. A cowboy check, most of them survived. I mean, you know, there's a small percentage that didn't survive, but most people survived. <laughs> right. You know, it's like, come on. You guys need to wake up and see what this is really what this is really about because it's not about the virus. Also, also, I think okay? um, it's we, you've been duped. What the, was that? Chris? The, also, uh, the, those previous well, I don't know about all the previous ones, but those older previous ones, those were natural. This one's not. This one, this one's this right. one's created in a lab. This is a totally different animal. Right, but so you're saying they that's they were they were right in doing what they did? Hell no. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> No, I'm just saying that this one it was all planned from the get go, from the beginning, from before oh, the big beginning. Oh, big time. They talked about it back in twenty seventeen. Yeah, yeah. They, they even... Oh, Fraud, she said it. He said there's the President Trump's going to deal with a major pandemic. They knew it about it ahead of time. Right. That's what that. Look it up. Event two hundred one. Well, look, look, look that look, up. Look at that article that Kate posted up earlier that we talked about last week, uh, from right. where where the origin of this shit came from. Yeah. And that was back in two thousand six. Right, two thousand and six. They've been planning to do this. Right. Well, they had probably I mean, been planning a lot longer. You guys can go, oh, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> or, no, that's not true. Or, you're a conspiracy theorist. It's like, no, this is, no, 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 no. Well, I am, but that's, that's true, None of those point. excuses work anymore. You stop saying that stuff because you sound like an idiot when you say that, that stuff. You know, I, I, You're I, the one that makes yourself look bad when you call me a conspiracy theorist. I am a, Seriously. Con- I am a conspiracy <laughs> theorist, but that's beside the point. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're the one that's more ignorant because you're just not listening and hearing to what I'm fucking saying. Exactly. You don't want to hear it. That's why. That's the main reason. Yeah. And the main reason is people don't want to admit that they're, everything the government's done or said, said throughout their whole lifetime has been fucking bullshit. Yep. And a, a lie. People have a really hard time accepting the fact that they believed in these lies for so long that they just have to hang out of them, even if it's not right, even if it's not true, even if it's wrong. Exactly. As Cowboy, they point, hang out. Yeah. Cow- Cowboy Tech's pointing out here, somebody offered up $2 million in gold, real real money, yeah. for anybody to prove this shit is real, and nobody has done so. so it's Nobody's either, claimed it yet. So it's either... So what is that? And I no, mean, two million dollars. Who doesn't want that? Right. Yeah. It's either nobody wants two million dollars, or it's bullshit. It's bullshit. <laughs> right. 
So you guys go on believing what you want to believe. Absolutely. And masking up when you don't need to. Yeah, well, I got it. Okay, so to me, the mask is a joke, all right? It's not really a joke to them. It's not to them, okay? No. To me, the mask is a, it's symbolic It's symbolic to them. It's right. to see how many people will shut their fucking mouth and how many people won't. Exactly. So the people, I'm, I'm happy to report that since this started, I've seen more people not wearing masks than wearing them. So yeah. that gives me hope because some kind of like futile, fragile glimmer of fucking anything resembling whatever the fuck hope's supposed to be. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And uh, that was good because people didn't fall for it as much as I, you know, Claire anyway. Okay. Yeah. yeah. In Eau Claire, in the Chippewa Valley here. Right. A lot of people did, but a lot of people... Um, in some states, apparently, still, you have to wear a mask to enter a store. Right. Um, in Menards, I think they're still doing the mask thing. I don't know if that changed since this new deal started or not. They might have changed that already. I haven't found that. I haven't heard it that they have yet. But, um, and so we were, I was going to go to Harbor Freight today instead of Menards because, for one thing, I had some coupons. And I don't know Harbor Freight shit tools are not good to okay right. they're not milwaukee they're not fucking dewalt they're not all these you know professional tools but i'm not doing huge professional jobs either you know what i mean sure and i have coupons and there's some stuff that's okay to get there you know i wouldn't yeah. rely on their equipment to be a professional carpenter hell no you know what i mean uh-huh. but for what i need it for i'll go there because i have a coupon and crap you know yeah 20% off one item or whatever. You know, they always right. have pretty good deals there, you know. Right. Anyway, they were closed at like 6 o'clock. I'm like, seriously? 6? You guys closed at 6 today? Normally, they're supposed to be open till 8 on a Friday. Well, okay, that's fine. You know, that's whatever. I'll go tomorrow or whatever. But, yeah. and the part of the reason I did not go to Menard is fuck John Menard. Okay? Okay. Fuck that man. Because... They always, their ads are always, save big money at Menards. Yeah. Which, if they have a good sale or something, you can save some big money. I don't know about big money, but you can save some money. Right. Because that place makes money hand over fucking fist, dude. Sure, sure. I mean, they're all over the fucking country. The guy's a cheapskate. You know, just the people that know him personally, like, that know of him in Eau Claire personally, because he's, like, from here. Okay. He is from here. Okay. So they, he's just, I heard stories, and he's just not a good employer. I mean, right. he could be better. That's all I'm saying. I believe you. <laughs> and so it's just like, dude, and he, he's the one that, you know, Home Depot where Lowe's want to come in here, he's all like, no, no, no. It's like, fuck you, dude. Maybe yeah. Home Depot has better deals for me than you are providing. So why are you blocking them for coming in here? And why is the city allowing that to happen? Right. You know, just because you, a lot of people work for you here in this town and you're from this town? Fuck that. That doesn't, big deal. Exactly. You know, maybe I want a Home Depot here. Or a Lowe's, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah, well, anyway, that's, that's it's just, it's a vicious circle and it's just the shit that's been going on. And I could tell today when I went out and about there are way more people out. Like, everyone's like, oh, thank God. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just like, thankfully, finally. You know, right. someone Rick and woke up and said, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, anyway, uh, it's just nuts, dude. It's All crazy. Right. Well, let's play some tunes here. All right, let's do that. So we're already lagging. Yeah, we're already... <laughs> Pretty much this show is kind of like a shit show already. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Um, so, uh, what, what is, what, what's today? It is the 15th of May. So that would be like, what, 5, 15? 5, 15, 20. All right. We're That's gonna, cool. We're just going with 5, 15. 5, 15. What does that mean? What are you, what are you getting at? Listen up. Okay. One more. I mean... Alright. Okay. Wait, goodbye. <laughs> I mean, we were...
weren't doing much of anything, to be fair. But right. we're gonna have to get him to sign a release. Yeah, right. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> All right, it's a fun uh, little group of guys there. The uh, Josh Turner guitar group, I guess, uh, covering Buffalo Springfields for what it's worth. Before that, we had uh, Judas Priest and some heads are going to roll. And we kicked it off there with The Who uh, doing 515. It's uh, off of Quadrophenia. Yeah, what day is that? It's 515. <laughs> Uh, Moose, you with me? <laughs> I am. I am right here. All right. So what can you tell us all about Josh oh, Turner? God. About what? Josh Turner? Oh, he knows Raina El- Del Cid real well. Uh-huh. And we've played a lot of her songs on this show, too. Sure. Um. Anyway, he's a younger kid. He looks like he's 20. He's probably older than that. I don't know. But uh, up and coming apparently, and like I said, he hangs out with like Raina Del Cid, her guitarist, and, you know, Raina Del Cid, and he's played on some of their covers and everything. Yeah. Before all this crap, you know. Right, right. Um, One of the biggest groups of people I feel bad for are musicians, because that's like their lifeblood, being able to perform. Right. Especially like someone huge, even people huge like Joe Bonamassa, to people that are not huge, like local musicians in the Eau Claire scene. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, like my friend Brian Vesky out in Osseo, Wisconsin, is like 20 minutes from Eau Claire. Um, I feel bad for him. You know, but they've been doing the live streams from wherever they can. Like in his case, he's lucky because there's a Northwoods Brew Pub in Osseo. Okay. And they make their own beer there and stuff, and then they have a restaurant and everything. But they've been doing takeout food there, but they've also been allowing musicians to come in and do sets there live, you know. That's great. Which sounds better than someone's house, you know. The, the acoustics are way better in there, you know. Yeah, yeah. In the brew pub, so it's like it's more open. Right. And like uh, Feeding Leroy has done that up in Duluth. Uh, Brian did it at Northwoods in Osseo. A lot of people are doing, and even tonight, Bud Bud Products, which I don't support them, but um, they did a lady a country thing tonight, a live feed, but it was with their whole band. You know, cool. they were all spread apart, but yeah, yeah. there's no fans or anything. Yeah, yeah. But at least you know, musicians are making money that way, and it's been kind of interesting because for me, in some ways, because you kind of get a glimpse into their private life. Mm-hmm. And well, how they are when they're not performing because they're just doing it out of their house or whatever. You know what I mean? Right. And they're just, it's so cool to see all the different venues and different health lifestyles or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the word is for it really, but you get like a glimpse into their private life, I guess. That's kind of an interesting aspect of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get to see him fuck up, make mistakes, and then be like, oh, let me start that over again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or no, that's not the right key. You know what I mean? It's just kind of cool. It's kind of like they're sitting there practicing for you. You know what I mean? It's right. just, just kind of interesting to watch some of these live streams because um, you just see them in their element. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, it's like the, the human aspect of them. Like, they're not perfect. They're not like some god, you know, like some people worship them, you know. Right. Unhealthily, you know. It's like, no, they're just people too, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, Joe Bonamassi, he cracks me up because he, some of his tweets on Twitter are really funny. Like, uh, I have to remind myself how to play guitar, that I'm actually a blues guitarist or blues musician or whatever, you uh, know. Uh. <laughs> I mean... So they, because they get off on that, like that, they would not like it if they, they wouldn't do it if they didn't love it. Sure. They didn't get something out of it. Right. So they're missing out on that whole aspect of their life, you know, it's got to be hard. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, they're, they're used to being out there most of the time. Hello? Yeah. yeah. Hello. I'm here. Oh, okay. I didn't mean, Okay. But, yeah, I mean, I've been tipping them. I've been buying merch. I've been supporting as much as I can. Even, like, Sierra Hall. And she's just, like, a solo artist. Like, she lives down in Nashville. She's really, really good. Uh-huh. Um, 
I just been doing as much as I can. Ten bucks here, ten bucks there, twenty bucks there. You know, cool. the guitarist from Green Sky Bluegrass did a solo the other night, and it was amazing. Cool. Like it was amazing, and he probably made like six hundred, six thousand dollars. Right. Just from right. the the amount of people that were watching, and I tipped twenty. And I, if everyone else tipped twenty, that's a lot of money. Right. And part of the proceeds were to were being donated to a, a charitable organization, which like the Dusters the other night they've been, or they've been doing um, individual live streams from their houses, but then they did a Zoom, which totally did not work because um, <laughs> the Zoom thing. As soon as it got to be like 450 people watching, it would crash. Yeah. So it would get to like 450 people watching like five minutes. You know what I mean? Right. So they were like joking about it, but that's why I was wondering if there was like a limit to how many viewers you can have at one time. Oh, right, right. And so because it would it was crash and they were having a hell of a time, but they were actually doing that one to support their staff, yeah, their they, roadies, and their you know what I mean. Yeah, they the they, they should have done the Zoom and then streamed it to to uh, YouTube. Right. I, I, yeah, maybe I'll suggest that to them. Right, <laughs> yeah, it's, it'd be simple enough, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. But another thing I want to make sure you guys are aware of, it. I have been late to the late to this um, site, but it's a very good site. I just want to make sure I get the word out on this, and that is BitChute. BitChute. Bit, BitChute.com. BitChute. Um, yeah. YouTube sucks, okay? YouTube's good for some things still. But the amount of censorship that they have been doing during this whole thing is ridiculous, okay? Right. And I just do not like them at all right now. I don't like YouTube. I use it because for some things because that's a platform a lot of people still use. But as far as I'm concerned, YouTube, you suck. Yeah. yeah you're I censoring see. stuff. You're censoring anything that goes against the official rhetoric. I uh, I had I had suggested bit shoot to some guy today or yesterday I forget which. Mm -hmm. uh, either way, there, there's our bit shoot channel right okay, there. Okay, there you go. Um, and uh, he's like, oh, I never heard of that. Well, I'll, I'll check that out. <laughs> like, right. See, a lot of that's why I'm bringing it up now because a lot of people aren't even aware of this site. Yeah. Um, if you're not like Graham, there you're on the pulse. You got your thumb on the pulse of pretty much everything techie. I mean, most of us don't delve into it like you do you know i don't i mean some other people do you know i'm sure in here but you seem you know you're you seem to just have your thumb on the pulse of new technology coming in and software and all that kind of stuff you know what i mean yeah that stuff interests me but you have a mind for that and that's yeah, yeah. so um you would know more about bit shoot than other the average person would right so put, and here's, here's the deal. Here's here's the deal. All mm -hmm. all you folk out there that want to put up stuff about uh, that the fact that um, that the government is lying, that the, uh, the the world, whatever you want to call them, the world controllers are lying about the vaccines being fucked up, yep. about uh, this COVID Corona crap being being messed up. If you put that up on YouTube, they will take it down immediately. They'll take it down immediately. You they will. It, they will. It. They will look at it for a few seconds. You're lucky if it's up there for a few seconds. They're like, oh, no, can't have this. No, nope. yeah, remove. Yeah. But you, you could put it on BitChute, and it, it will be safe and secure, yeah. and people will be able to view it. And, yep. um, and you can do, you know, like you can do the embedding and all that other stuff. Uh, right. So... Hey. I can't tell. I mean, so one of my people that I'm following, and I got to him on BitChute via YouTube is Richie from Boston. Right. And he has had so many videos removed. Yeah. That's not even funny. And he's pissed, but he's like, I'm still going to put up on YouTube what I do. He's like, just to be a fucking pain in my a in the ass to them. Sure. You know what I mean? Because he's like, I got my BitChute channel. I've had it for four years. Nothing gets removed from there. Right. So, and, and, and and he, we, yeah. You know, yeah, he uh, makes sure to say, Go to my BitChute channel on his YouTube videos. And, <laughs> you know I mean? all, all of all of the shows from Real Liberty Media are archived up there since we started doing that a couple of years ago. So there's hundreds, hundreds of Real Liberty Media videos up there. On BitChute. Yeah, on yes. BitChute. Yep. 
And I mean, just seriously, I would just try to really, okay, you should know the reason why they're YouTube censoring all this crap. You should already know why. Yeah. Well, if you have to be, you know, and it should piss you off. And here's the here's the deal with YouTube for me. Yeah. They got the music. They got all the music. Uh, right. I, I, I can't not use YouTube because they have all the music, and I and I love sitting and listening to music, whether it's on this show, whether it's just throughout the day, well, whatever right. it is, they they have all the bands from all time. Yep. On they do. There. And. Uh, so I got, They've I, removed a lot of videos. Like, remember we used to play that um, car, that the Cab Calloway one. Remember? Uh, champagne and uh, no, the Reefer, Reefer Man, Reefer Man, Reefer Man. Yeah. And they took that down. Well, uh, certain bands do that. Um, uh, oh you, yeah, you true. Used, you used it, to be able to go there and find any. I thought gift. that was YouTube that removed that one, if I remember correctly. I, I don't know, but but a lot of the recording companies do too. Uh, used okay, to be, yeah, I, true. I used to be go, go there and listen to all the Jimi Hendrix and Bob Dylan, uh, Beatles, all that that I wanted. And one day right. they took all of that out, all of them, and then they've slowly been putting a few select things back up there. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. True. That's how they do it. Yeah. Like even Blue Ox Festival has been releasing um, full sets of the bands. Right. That we haven't been released yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they know people are just sitting home. <laughs> right. Bored. Well, a lot of people are. Well, well free for now, I, I'd say bit shoot is your best option. Um, uh, there's no need for me to go out there and, and, and take on a project that's already got a wonderful. Uh, right. Uh, you know, to compete base. with bit shoot at this point would be difficult because they're, well, they're I don't, getting bigger. I, I, mean, I wouldn't even want to compete with them. I mean, they're great. Right, exactly. Yeah. They're great. I mean, they don't have all of YouTube's features. You can't no. stream. You can't stream live on BitChute, but um, yeah, whatever, man. Uh, it's got a lot of great stuff up there. So even though you can't stream live there, it's you can got do a lot the of things. videos that YouTube is taking down. Let's just put it that way. And we do already have that in the form of RLM. Right. I mean, we already have our own website, our own archives, our podcasts. Yeah, you know our daily news feed that goes out on Twitter constantly. I yeah. mean, we're already doing it. Right. We right. can't really do much more than that. I mean, well, I don't know about that. We're but... already do well. We can do. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we can always do more. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We are doing as Grimmer is like insanely amazing. Like he'll he's on all this shit on top of all this stuff all the time. Yeah. It's like you know, it's awesome. So, yeah, anyway, just, you know, try to get the word, the message out there, you know. It's, right. Uh, um, and also, um, I I do have to give kudos to Grim this week for the best face mask <laughs> since this whole thing started. Yeah. I mean, seriously, Grim, you rocked that. You rocked uh, the fuck out of that. Yeah. Uh, you Your Corona face mask, that yeah. was really awesome. Good to see that your beard is fully white now. <laughs> fully white. Fully white. <laughs> I give you shit. No, I like I, that one. I'm not, I'm no, not, I like it. I like it. I'm, I, I like it. I, I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. It, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's good. It's, it's just like it's a hat band, you know. It's not, it's not very wide, so it barely, right. co- barely covers my mouth and nose. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, the, the mask. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it does say Corona right. Yeah, on big it. old, big old Corona right on front. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the post office with that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just to poke fun at the whole stupid situation. Right, yeah. And that's that's the only reason for it. Um, <laughs> that was pretty good, yeah. though. I liked that. I got a kick out of that one. That was the highlight of my week. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. All right. And I so, even saved that picture of you, so. I'm I'm glad. Yeah, I saved it. I saved that was saveable. So. Okay, you're, you're, on, you're on the Facebook, right? Yeah, fuck. Whole book, whatever you want to call it. There's right. many names for it. So you can tell me whether or not this is accurate and true. Okay. Because it's being reported on Newsweek, which is, you know, mainstream. Yeah, crap, mainstream media. Clap right. outlet. Mm-hmm. The anti-vaxxers are winning the battle on Facebook. So, uh, yeah, on it, Facebook? It, I don't know about Facebook, but well, out there on Twitter? 
Yeah. On Twitter, they're winning. I don't know yeah. about Facebook. On well, Facebook, I'm not sure. They could be on Facebook. I'm well, going to say they're not, but... They're, they're certainly winning on Minds. Anyway, so what it says here, it says, anti-vaccination Facebook pages are currently better at attracting undecided users to their cause than pro-science counterparts. Um, and let me just point out here, <laughs> this, this was uh, tweeted out by uh, Dr. Sherry Tenpenny uh, earlier today. Uh, and, yes, and so I like her. I like her, by the way. So, I, so I tweeted no. that I tweeted back to her uh, because this 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 line right here better or, or, at attracting undecided users than their pro science counterparts. This is neuro linguistic programming right there. This is telling NLP. Yep, NLP. NLP. Yeah. Right. This is telling you that if you're not for vaccinations, then you're anti science. Then you're. <laughs> that's what this is saying because they're saying the 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 pro vaccination people are pro science and you anti vaccination people are the opposite. Although they never come out and say that. Uh, and it says as the social media sites struggle to purge misinformation and conspiracy theories. So again, they lay it out a little bit more directly there from their platforms including campaigns relating to COVID-19, a study has shown how difference, uh, differing stances on vaccination have evolved and competed over time. The project, led by Neil Johnson, professor of physics at GWU, analyzed Facebook communities containing close to 100 million individuals, grouping them into clusters to map how members... members <laughs> where, where did I last my spot? Uh, Sorry, I'm typing. Uh, Sorry. Uh, that's right. Grouping them into clusters to map how members interact, shift, and share links. The clusters were color-coded, mapped, and analyzed. This is what's happening to you on Facebook. You're being color-coded. Yes, mapped. you're being totally, like, algorithm. Like, seriously, it's freaky because I was looking up something on a different website. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm getting all these ads for tie-dye stuff. Yeah. I was looking up dyes for tie-dye. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, on my Facebook feed, I'm getting all these, like, Places that sell tie dye clothing. I'm like, really? Come on, you guys. You're so obvious. All right. So obvious, you know. So I just don't share a lot of information on Facebook. I'm more vocal politically on Twitter, way more on Twitter. Okay. Because Facebook, to me, I have family and friends on there that don't get it. And it's just, frankly, I do not get in it pretty much anything political on Facebook at all. Yeah. Just yeah. because I can't go there on Facebook because... There's too many people out there that don't think like I do and that are friends of mine. I just don't want to get in some battle on Facebook. Understood. It just isn't the right way to do do it. And it's just like, you know what? I'm not going there on Facebook. You know? So that's how I handle okay. it. And li listen, listen to this propaganda here. The results, yeah. the results were surprising, Johnson told Newsweek, describing the current situation as a perfect storm that could see legitimate information drowned out by fringe fake science. <laughs> so, so he's saying whatever the government says is legitimate information, and if you disagree with them, you're fringe fake science. Uh. Yeah, of course. So don't you dare disagree with what we're <laughs> shoving down your throat, even if you know it's not true. You know it's not. You're, you're going to fucking believe us, dude. If you don't, oh, my God, the hammer's going to come down yeah, on they, you. No, they, it ain't, buddy. They, no, they, it's not. They, they got a picture here of, a, like, no. a pro, pro I have constitutional rights. Even though you guys did the Patriot Act and the NDAA, even though the Constitution, you shredded the shit out of it, yeah. I still believe in those, that Bill of Rights there. In some ways. A lot of ways, I do. All right. Anyway, because so, of the second, you know, if you're if it's going to exist, Graham, we've talked about this before. If it's going to exist and they made this thing, then let's follow it. Which it hasn't been being followed basically since its inception. But you know, come on, I know that. <laughs> but I did see one thing. All right. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll look, go ahead. Look, look, look at the picture in that article. There, they got one. It's like a protest, okay, a protest of some kind. Uh, some guy holding up a sign, science is fake news. And uh, somebody in a car, think for yourself. Don't trust MSM. Uh, yeah. Go, go in there. Anyway, so this is, this is, um, 
uh, thing. And then they have in the, embedded into this, they have a little poll. Should vaccinations be required by law for all children? No. Yeah. And so you and the, the no. no the no's are winning this poll by a uh, count of six, sixty-four to thirty-two. See, uh, people are catching on to the vaccination thing. So and news, Newsweek, yeah, they're waking up. Newsweek's trying to pump out this nonsense, but it ain't going right. That but well that's for clap. Them. That's the clap media. That's of course they're going to do that. So did you know? Did you know? Mm-hmm. That Donna is the Bondo queen. <laughs> uh, like Bondo on cars? <laughs> apparently, apparently. Really? Yeah, oh, she, yeah. She's a talented lady. I have to is. give her kudos. Bondo yeah, she's queen. She's totally talented. I love Donna. She's awesome. Is that that sounds suspiciously close, Donna, to a bondage queen. <laughs> 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 oh, baby. In your dreams, come here. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? What's that thing? But whip? I don't know. I mean, you know that. You know, I don't what's know. It, what's that? What's that thing? Whip me, beat me. Uh, 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 there was some other little funny line at the end. I, I can't guess. remember. Yeah. <laughs> but I actually know what Bondo is. You got to oh. be. You know, come on. You didn't have to explain to me what it is. So you know, come on. I'm no, not I, like. Yeah. Anybody that's ever repaired an old, you know, dents in old cars knows Bondo. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to repair holes in walls, and I'm, I'm learning a lot. It's like I, I told Matt, I'm like, Matt, he's like, what? I'm like, I'm watching how-to videos on how to repair holes in walls and install fences. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. You'll he's, like, he's thinking, oh, great, Mom. You know what I mean? Sure. But I'm yeah. like, yeah, I got to learn. You know, I got to learn. You'll, and I you'll... have learned a lot of stuff. I Seriously, seriously, I have learned a lot of things, like how to do stuff. It's, so, it, it's very helpful. So like, here, here's a, here's a here, this will be a helpful hint going forward. When you're okay. running to, run, run into people out there that, that think the lockdown is a good idea, all you have to just do is say to them, why do you hate children? Why do you want to kill children? Oh, God, they'd look at you like, what the fuck are you talking about? They wouldn't okay. know in that. They wouldn't be able to put two and two together. They okay. would not know what you were, what you were talking well, you about. Can, you can share this article with them. Okay. okay because but that, I, I, that, that might not be the right approach, though, Graham. I, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Sure, you might no, want to like, word but, it differently but, or something. But, no, but it might be because... I'm sure okay. most most of those people probably think UNICEF is a good organization. Now, oh, I'm sure they think that. I, yeah. I know I know better, but we've but, talked about UNICEF on this show but, before. But they probably think it's a good idea. Anyway, UNICEF yeah. warns lockdown could kill more than COVID nineteen, as model predicts, one point two million child deaths. So why do you hate children? Why do you want children to die? <laughs> they still wouldn't put two new deal with it. They, they just wouldn't. You, you have to go into great detail. And yeah, I don't know. Right. It says indiscriminate lockdowns are an ineffective way to control COVID and could contribute to a 45% rise in child mortality. Um, great. Wonderful. Yeah. So Not, the, I'm kidding. Now, now so, I, I, I don't think, think I've, that's I, wonderful I, I, or great I, at all. I, 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 I hate that. I, I hate it. I, I hate I, it. I, I, I think I've heard of this situation, but you'll have to tell me if you've heard of it. Okay. Um, the risk of children dying from malaria, pneumonia, or mm-hmm. diarrhea yes. in, in developing countries. Okay. Yes, Di- I agree with that. Yep. Death by diarrhea? Yes, dude, what? because, you know, if you don't have enough fluids and you don't have the right... If you're con- if you can't keep anything in you, you have the- you run the risk of hi- dehydration, and this is a huge problem with kids. This is why I always have like Pedialyte and everything on hand, because if you get dehydrated, that can kill you. Okay. You can die from dehydration, and diarrhea causes dehydration. Anyway, here's that full sentence. Yep. Here's that. So full- it, yeah, it's a thing. It can happen. Here, here, here. It's definitely in third world countries, especially where they don't have what we have. Right. Here's here's that. Access, you know, here's that full <laughs> sentence. Here's the full sentence there. The risk of children dying from malaria, pneumonia, or diarrhea in developing countries is spiraling due to the pandemic and far outweighs any threat presented by coronavirus, UNICEF has yep. warned. I now, believe that. That's because, probably because people don't have, in those kind of countries, do not have access to water and food. And if there is one, if they're a country that's quote unquote shut down, I mean, they're really hurting. They don't have grocery stores to go to like we do here. Okay. Right. right. 
I mean, they don't. And if if someone's ill in one of those communities, they're not going to rush out to help these people. They don't. Okay. Uh huh. Their governments are way worse than ours. Okay, in some ways, and in, in some ways, it, to go around comparing which government's worse than the other one, it would be a waste of time. Sure. Because they're pretty much all the same right at this point. They're all fucking tyrannical. Okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. It, to say the least. So, um, but it's, I feel bad for those the people in developing. They they you, now they use the word developing countries. Which really, they used to use the word third world. So they changed their, uh, the way they word that now. Like they do often with a lot of things. They, yeah. they change the wording to make it sound better or something. I don't know. What, I don't know why, but, you know, who knows why they do half the shit they fucking do. I mean, I know the main gist of why they do what they do, but yeah, vernacular. Good, good word, man. That's yeah. a good word. Good word. Good word. All right. Um, now, now you know who that uh, mayor of Chicago is. That that uh, female gay Nazi lady. That one. She looks like some kind of. Uh, <laughs> I said mate, female and lady. Female and lady the same thing as lady. Yeah. Sorry. Well, I, I don't. I don't know. know if she's a lady. But anyway. Yeah. Um, she's, yeah. I mean, she may be female, but that don't make her a lady. Um, okay. But anyway, she, <laughs> she, she looks like some Star Wars character. I saw like a, a, a mix. <laughs> A, a meme. With, oh my god! A, a meme with her and this this Star Wars character next to each other. And they're like, "Wow, <laughs> they, they could be sisters." Uh, oh yeah, I saw them all okay. this week. Oh okay. my god! So here you go. Chicago mayor says leaders leaders must mm-hmm. pledge allegiance to the new world order. Order. Must right. pledge allegiance to the new world order. Uh, oh my god! Her name. Do you is, believe that? Her name is apparently Lori Lightfoot. Yeah, that's her. And she promised to hire department yeah. heads and deputies who will be pledging allegiance to the New World Order. New World Order. And good yep. governance. Good governance. Is that good. A, good. Is good, 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 good. Good governance. Is that an oxymoron? Huge, hugely beautiful. Bigly. Is, is Bigly that, beautiful. Is, is Greatly a, beautiful. Is, is that, wonderful and beautiful. Is, <laughs> that, 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 that's your oxymoron for today. Good governance. <laughs> So, uh, oh my God, I was just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not. I don't know. I feel weird today. I don't know why. I just, I feel yeah. weird. All right, Mayor Lightfoot, <laughs> whose, whose campaign slogan was "Bring in the light," sounds kind of Illuminati. Was speaking, uh, yeah. Was speaking to the Chicago Tribune newspaper when she made the disturbing comments that openly promoted new world order and good governance. Uh, oh wow! I, 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 I don't need to read any more of this. No. Uh, just, just let you know. I mean, they they mentioned it here. The first openly gay politician. Really? I what? don't think it so. It has nothing to do with I, sexuality. I, 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 I don't think she's the first openly gay politician. No, she is not. <laughs> By any stretch of the imagination. Well, it says, no. uh, it says the first openly gay to lead Chicago. So maybe that's Oh, to lead Chicago. Yeah, wow. Which, which, okay. Yeah, that, that, might, that might be true. I don't know. But why even say she's gay? Does it really fucking matter? Yeah, well, what, what, does that add, what does that add to the story? I don't know. Doesn't add anything. Just anyway. wants to rile people up that are anti-gay or something. It's like, come on. So there she is, your Jar Jar Banks or whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna play some more music. Here. Okay. All right. Good idea, Ground Dad. <laughs> Things are getting crazy. It started yeah. on the shit show and it's continuing to be apparently. So you know, but that, what we're talking about, you know, come on. Look what's going on. Holy crap. Despite all, despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Rat in a cage. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How about that stuff, huh? That's pretty nice stuff right there. Uh, that's a cover of Heaven and Hell. Heaven and Hell by the band geeks. The chick that was singing there, her name is Emily Nakio. I guess that's how you say that, N-A-C-C-H-I-O. Anyway, she did a great job. You know, she's no deal. Of course, who is? Uh, but, uh, yeah, excellent, excellent uh, uh, cover there of Heaven and Hell. Uh, before that, Justin Johnson doing that slide stuff for us all. Uh, wispy, wh- wh- wispy, whiskey sipping music. Whiskey sipping music on his laid back Delta Blues guitar. Justin Johnson, look him up over there on the YouTube. He's a no-nonsense guitar player and 
guitar maker. Yeah, he makes a lot of great guitars. And we kicked it off there with the Smashing Pumpkins bullet uh, with butterfly wings. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. <laughs> oh, yep. man, I tell you. Aren't we a, all? Uh, we, we all are. We all are. That's, anyway, that's we a, are. Anyway, that's I a, mean, unfortunately, I mean... Even though you don't really feel like you are, if you think about it, you really are. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can whine and complain and do all the uh, stuff you want, go out there and protest, and yeah, you still are. You're not listening to Freaker's Ball? What the hell's Matt? wrong with you? What are you, a communist? <laughs> what the hell, Matt? You're, you're on our own, but you're not listening to our show. TV? What, this ain't TV. We're not TV. <laughs> well, no, we are not TV. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> click that link yeah doom bob boo, bob, bob. <laughs> I give it to you already <laughs> holy guacamole not, why is it not working here now why is what not working you, you put it so I did right now I did the uh, yeah. exclamation now I don't know did you put a space or something you're like I don't know I'm probably typed too fast there it is it, it showed up Cause, click cause, that link because you like putting spaces in there afterwards. Sometimes I do, but I've 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 gotten better at that. I and and barman says nope 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 don't recognize it sorry. <laughs> really? It it popped up just now though. No, I know. He just oh he did it and it popped up. Okay. Well, yeah, whatever. All okay. right. Anyway. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man, I tell you. <laughs> Things are crazy. I mean, people are seriously wigging the hell out. Wait a second, what did I do there? Because now, you know, you got all these people that are like, well, they shouldn't have done that. They should. The Supreme Court shouldn't have done that. And even though they did that, people should still wear masks. And still, it's like, screw you, dude. Screw you. Yeah, that's my voice. Yeah. That's the moose. my voice. I, the mighty moose. It's my voice. <laughs> mighty moose. <laughs> Hello, Matt. <laughs> What's up, Matt? Uh, Matt? <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, I know. I hear that I have, like, some weird-ass accent, like Fargo or something. Like, I could really lay them on thick if I want to. Even more so, but I choose not to. <laughs> uh, and I can't talk hardly because it's a long story. But anyway. Um, well, you know. <laughs> you know, it may, it may not be wise to talk. Why? Apparently, coronavirus droplets caused, oh, by, God. caused by talking remain in the air for 8 to 14 minutes. <laughs> Okay, well... So, so just talking, shut the hell up! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what they wanted us to do when we were a mask, dude. So, that's... Uh, they wanted to see how many people would put a mask, and so they'd shut up. You know what I mean? So, so that, that that's the... According to a new study, a new peer-reviewed, which means nothing, research gives more insight into COVID-19's rapid uh, contagion. Uh, this is uh, on MarketWatch.com, uh, part of the Wall Street Journal. Um, talking spreads coronavirus. So all you yappity yappers out there, you're killing people. Shut up! Uh, and likely plays a part in its contagiousness. Uh, that's the conclusion of a new study released Thursday, published in a peer-reviewed Proceedings of National Academy of Sciences the official journal of the National Academy of Sciences, these observations confirm that there is a substantial probability that normal speaking uh, causes airborne virus transmission in confined environments, meaning like if you're in lockdown. Uh, all right. <laughs> the study adds to a growing body of research of why it's important that people maintain social distancing and wear face masks. Uh, nonsense. The, the, response, yes. the response to corona has become a political issue, which it's a disease. How is it a political issue? Um, <laughs> the Trumpster and Governor Cuomo from New York have locked yeah, horns. Cuomo. Cuomo. Cuomo have locked horns <laughs> uh, 
uh, over when to reopen the economy. Speech droplets generated by asymptomatic carriers of severe acute respiratory uh, syndrome, coronavirus 2, which is corona. <laughs> it's the corona. <laughs> but, but they call it here SARS coronavirus yeah, 2. Yeah, whatever. Are, are increasingly considered to be a likely mode of disease transmission, the study found. Huh. Who, who funded this? Yeah. Uh, who? Who? I, I don't know who funded it, but, <laughs> who funded it? It's, but it's the Na- National Academy of Sciences, whoever funds them. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so, so speech droplets. Da, 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 da. Okay, well, whatever. That's enough. You got enough. We're just from that bit. Um, uh, don't when you when you go outside, shut the hell up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't shut the hell up. Speak your freaking mind and talk out loud. If you're pissed off about what's going on. Speak your goddamn mind. Yeah. Don't fucking be a sheeple and keep your mouth shut and blah, blah, blah. No. If someone asks you a question, tell them how you really feel. Shut up, slaves. Screw this, screw this stuff, you know? Ask them how they like being a slave. All right. Well, like here. being told what they have to do. Like they need a babysitter or something. Apparently, apparently. Like, do you yeah. ask yourself, do you need a babysitter? If the answer is no, then you don't need a motherfucking government official or some politician telling you what to do and how to live your life. I, I do need I do need a babysitter. Well, that's a different that's a different scenario. <laughs> that's a different way different scenario. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. <laughs> hey, baby. You have that that. As long as it's consensual I'm fine with it. <laughs> Over eighteen only. <laughs> <laughs> Over eighteen. <laughs> All right. Um, so, so how uh, most people apparently, according to this, do need babysitters, and not the kind I'm talking about. Okay. Sixty-eight <laughs> percent uh. say. Lockdown should not end until all diseases are eradicated. Oh and, yeah, like that's gonna happen. <laughs> and, and and there is no war, hunger, or suffering. Oh yeah. Okay. Is this on Babylon B? Yeah. Or onion? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It is Babylon B. Okay. That, I I remember seeing that all this right. week. All right. A new poll. That's funny. A new poll has been released that shows most Americans are comfortable with staying in lockdown for a while longer. In fact. According to the poll, a full 68% of Americans say the lockdown should not end until all diseases are eradicated, along with war, hunger, and all in any form of suffering. <laughs> the, the sentiment, we can only hope for this, right? Oh, I tell you, man. Uh, the sentiment was repeated by many different Americans. Opening up before everything that could hurt people has been eliminated could just lead to people dying, said Kelvin Grant, an online journalist who spoke via Zoom, let's just hide in place until everything bad goes away. <laughs> as, as long as there are diseases and other bad things out there, it's only safe to stay inside, away from everyone else, agreed Grace Wilson, a web designer who spoke through a mail slot. <laughs> like I saw a wasp outside the other day. We should we shouldn't go outside until all wasps are gone. Or or someone or someone could get stung stung by a wasp. Oh, no, no. Hell no, that can't happen. <laughs> A number a number of governors expressed solidarity with the poll results. Everyone should really stay locked down and do everything I tell them until all bad things are gone, said Michigan governor. Yeah, all bad things. Okay, uh, you find bad things. Okay. Said, said, said Michigan, uh, Michigan governor Gretchen Whitmer. Any, oh man, the Nazi lady. Oh, I tell you, <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. not really. Anyway, no, any, yeah, she is like Nazi like. Like seriously, she's like. Borderline, like, really, lady? Okay. Anything else could lead to death, disease, wasp (laughs) wasp stings, stubbed toes, lots of badness. Oh, no. Stepping on Legos. (laughs) Yeah. Well, you get more of that at home, actually. Uh, Anyway, (laughs) that's why if anyone is outside, when I tell them not to be, the police will shoot them. Uh, (laughs) Since eliminating all bad things could take some time... There are now new initiatives to help people shelter in place for months longer, including instructions on how to burrow underground and live as mole people. 
<laughs> now, I know, and you know, that the Babylon Bee is a satire website. But I swear to God, this is more accurate than anything you're going to get. Anything, anything you're going to get out of the MSM, out of the clap. Uh, it's far, far more accurate uh, than all of those those outlets. Um Okay, yeah. here's the big story of the week, and, and I, I don't even know what to make of it, uh, other than the fact that, no, I just say, no, this cannot be allowed to happen, but it, apparently it's going to happen, so uh, are you ready? This is not satire, by the way. Okay, this, um, okay, alert, this is not satire now. Not, not satire. Okay. <sighs> Trump mobilizing the United States military to deliver coronavirus vaccine. Trump is mobilizing the U.S. military to deliver. But, well, we knew that would happen. Well, we knew it would happen, but now it's been officially announced. So um, here's here's the piece from uh, Reuters, 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 Hemorrhoiders, uh, Trump is mobilizing the U.S. military to distribute a novel coronavirus vaccine when one becomes available and will focus first on older Americans. You know, it's a massive job to get, give this vaccine, Trump said in an interview. Oh, broad, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Broadcast. They already thing. have it. They already, it's already been created. Shh, shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Trump said in an interview on Fox Business Network, our military is now being mobilized, so at the end of the year, which it's not going to be, uh, whatever, uh, we're going to be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly. Uh, he said he believes that there will be a vaccine by the end of the year, and the U.S. is mobilizing our military and other forces on that assumption. He's assuming. You know what that means, right? All right. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah, what I do. Yeah. Yeah, the, the White House, <laughs> the White House has set a target of having 300 million vaccine doses by the end of 2020. No such vaccine for this pathogen has been approved, through the, as though a number uh, are under development, and producing and distributing an effective vaccine are seen as key steps to jumpstarting the U.S. economy. Well, if you're going to wait for that, you're going to be waiting some time. Trump's timetable conflicts with that given by the nation's top infectious disease expert, uh, in which I guess that's Fraudji, uh, in a Senate testimony on Tuesday. Fraudji, who directs the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, said that the idea that there will be a vaccine available by next fall when schools and universities re resume classes was a bridge too far. So, let's talk about this. <laughs> Let's no. talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Remember that song? It sounds vaguely familiar, but I, I don't know. <laughs> it was like a hip hop song. You wouldn't have known it. Uh, right, it was like from the eighties. Let's talk about sex, baby. All right. Anyway, so never mind. Never mind. I can't sing, by the way. Sorry, people. Sorry if, if I burst your eardrums and made them bleed. If, Sorry. If, if he is sending the military out there to deliver coronavirus vaccine, what do you think that means? <laughs> sounds like okay. sounds like they're planning for a forced vaccination. That, okay, I got something to say about that. I'm sure you do. Okay. That's why I say let's talk about okay. this. That is not happening to me. I am not going to roll up my sleeve for this unstudied, rushed out vaccine, which I already know they already have it. We're just wait and release it on all of us. Yep. And I'm sorry, but um, okay, so I'm going to share something that I found out just yesterday here. All right. John Snyder. I remember Dukes of Hazard. If you're if you're old like me. Is that the one? The TV star, show star, uh, the Dukes of Hazard. Is that the one with the General Lee? General Lee car, a really cool badass car. 
<laughs> the badass cop dude, like the fat guy. I, I never saw the show. I just yeah. remember. The, anyway, I just remember the car. Um, <laughs> this was a long, long time ago, right when I was like a teenager. You know, this, right, this right. show was popular, and um, and it was like a '78. I can't remember the brand of the car. No, no, that was a Star. I'm getting Starsky and Hutch mixed up with. Uh, was it a Charger? Duke the Hazard. Well, was it, was it Duke a... the Hazard was like an old school, old like the General Lee. I can't, I can't think. Oh, of what okay, kind yeah, maybe of it was Duke the Hazard with that car. Yeah. All right. Anyway, yeah. John Schneider, who was one of the, he was one of the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. Come to find out, he's kind of like uh like us. He's kind of like us. How he thinks. All right. And I don't how know he, he thinks is. about. Um, What's going on here? Anyway, he made an observation, and then also, I don't know if you guys saw that, that these police officers, this Gregory Anderson, police officer from Texas. Okay. He uh, did a video, and um, he, he ended up getting fired for it because he basically called out the shit that's going on here, like we, you know, and about standing up for what America is supposed to be based on. And he even said he was in special ops in Iraq or whatever. Oh, that's that and, video. That's that video you sent me. Yeah, and he fucking he was special ops. There's another one too, though, Grim. Okay. And and um, he said that it was scary in Ramadi because. Oh, some of the people that lived there were armed. And he said, if this ever, if they try to do this in America, yeah, there's a lot of people out there that have weapons. Hell yeah. And they're not going to go down as easy as these motherfuckers think they are. <laughs> they are not. They're not. Yeah. And so they're underestimating us like they always fucking have. They always... You know, they use these fear tactics on us. They use this shit on us. They lock us down. People fall for it. You know, they don't realize, you know, what was that? what's that statement? Um, it's an old-time statement. Behind every blade of grass, there's a weapon or whatever. Yeah, something like that. That's how it kind of is in America because people are hunters here. Yeah. Especially like Wisconsin, Texas. I mean... People like that there is a Second Amendment, even though it might not be as hard ironclad as, it, you know what, it's never been really ironclad because it's always been like a hot button issue, you know. They've right. been wanting to take the guns away from the public for a, forever, okay? Yeah. They've been wanting to do that. They've been wanting to disarm us. Sure. That's, do not let them do that. <laughs> Wherever your lie in the sand is, I don't know, but you got to figure out where the hell your line is, okay? You do. And if you can't figure that out, I feel bad for you. Yeah. But what is it going to freaking take? What's going to have to happen to you personally to wake up and say, hey, wait a minute, this ain't right. I, what is it going to take? Is it going to take them forcing you out of your house, separating you from your kids, even if that means your baby, your fur babies? Right. You know? And if they survive, if you resist and they come in, most cops, you know what they do? If there's a dog barking, you know what they do to that dog? Mm -hmm. They fucking shoot it and they kill it. They like shooting your pets, dude. They do. And so, where is your line? Do you even have a line? I... Are you all good with this shit? <laughs> oh, You're like, oh, this is okay. It's for our own good. Right. Really? Is it? Is it okay to wear a mask and breathe in the bad air that you're supposed to expel? Well, well you know, there's is wasps. Is that good for your body? There's, to there's breathe that? in the bad air constantly for eight hours a day, breathing in bad air that you're supposed to be expelling out of your lungs. There, there's wasps outside. You know what? That sounds like a prescription for illness. You're setting yourself up to get pneumonia doing that. 
All right. So any uh, uh, wearing a mask, really? Do you guys uh, buy fall for this shit? Do, really? Do, Come do, on. Do you fall for being? Come on. Did you have to wear a mask when the swine flu was going around? Why is the mask the thing all of a sudden now? Why weren't we wearing masks before to combat the common cold? Because if someone sneezes, that doesn't show to six feet. That can go 23 goddamn feet, motherfuckers. Come on. Don't do your own thinking. Just take a second or 15 minutes every fucking day to goddamn think for yourself for once instead of buying up all this shit that you're seeing on the internet and on CNN and Fox News and whatever else you fucking mainstream media outlet you rely on. Right. If you rely on mainstream media, you are one of them. You are part of the problem here. You are part of the problem. Yes. Because you're still a statist. You still believe in government. You still believe in their authority. And you're part of the problem. Yeah. So you can come in the chat, you can do whatever and say whatever you want. But if you're a statist and you believe what they're saying, you're being duped. You're the fool. You're the one not thinking for yourself. Because yeah. they don't want you to think for yourself. They want you to do what you're doing, which is eat up whatever they say. Oh, CNN, they're right. Fox, they're right. No, they are the clap. Yes, the clap, the corporate lame ass propaganda. Really? You would rather have someone else think for you than yourself think for you? Okay, Moose. Ugh. On on sorry. the things that sorry. you're talking about, where does I'm that? Not, sorry, I'm not apologizing for that rant. I'm don't, just... don't don't apologize. It's a great <laughs> rant. It's a great rant. But on on the things that you're talking about, about where that line is, how far yeah. will they go? Now, I we know at least uh, one person currently residing in the state of Washington, um, uh, which that would be Gooberzilla uh, and uh, uh, Meisterbrow, a uh, woodman, recently moved from there. But up there in the state of Washington, hold on to your ass if you haven't heard this, Washington okay. Washington State Governor announces plan to forcefully quarantine those infected and all their contacts. So they're doing that contact tracing. They're up doing there. that already. The contact. They're, they're doing the contact yep. tracing, and if you've had contact with anybody. That is infected with corona. All, all of, all of you that have come in contact with that person. This is what he says. Washington State Governor Jay Inslee announced at a press briefing on Tuesday that a standing army of contact tracers, along with members of the National Guard, we will be identifying and immediately quarantining. Washingtonians infected with COVID-19 and any individuals who have come in contact with the infected. That means you could have walked through a grocery store, right. never, never near, knew you were near this person, and that you have been contact traced because you were carrying your government spy right. device called a cell phone. Yep. All contacts of the infected will be quarantined ahead of time, even before they've had a positive test. The governor made right. clear. Right. If you've been in contact with someone that's pot, quote unquote positive, oh yeah. That is the corral we want to put around this virus. the the way <laughs> The way the Orwellian plan works is in the the event that multiple people, members of a family, reside under the same roof in a residence with a shared bathroom. Those people will all be quarantined outside of their homes. Outside of their homes, so at like a FEMA camp. Needless to say, activist Ammon Bundy chimed in from Idaho on Wednesday, uh, following Governor Inslee's unconstitutional orders. It is essential that we keep an eye on what Governor Inslee is doing, because in this COVID scare, Washington has led in their actions, and then other states have followed. So whatever Inslee is doing. Other states will follow. Uh, Bundy said that in a video posted to his YouTube channel on Tuesday. Once they have done something, other states will do it. The brave activist is worried that once precedence has been set, there will be no stopping a national rollout. 
In the video, Bundy broke down the various elements of remarks Governor Inslee made at the briefing, like the one where the governor refers to the new state contact tracing program as a smart weapon. Okay, first of all, he said, they are moving on to, uh, on to a second state. He called it a weapon, and then he especially says that it is important that, and notice how, his, how he says families, Bundy explained, he's talking about quarantine. He's not talking about voluntary quarantine. He's talking about quarantining them. Bundy said the governor is planning to use these contact tracers to connect the dots with all these people and round them up. A yeah, hear that? Yep, round them up. Round you up. Okay, you're a fucking piece of cattle to them. Yes, you are. Okay. At that, you, at they want to round you up like a goddamn other fucking cow. Additionally, he pointed out how those contact tracers will remain anonymous. Ooh. They will be anonymous, and that people can call into the state state sponsored snitch hotline to report people who are sick, just as they did in Nazi Germany. <laughs> yes, they did. Governor, how, long, how many years have I been saying this is like the Fourth Reich, Graham? Eleven. I've been uh, saying that for like eleven years. That this yeah. is like 1933 fucking Germany. Governor, Governor Inslee made it clear that the U.S. military and civilian personnel involved in the contact tracing program are taking orders well and are fully on board with the operation. Over 260,000 contact tracers are expected to be employed nationwide. A quarter million plus contact tracers to lock you into a deep, dark hole somewhere in some FEMA camp-style place. They ain't fucking around, and you better not be either. Yeah. No, you better not, be, and you better be thinking for yourself, and not just eating up what they're saying to you. What is wrong with you? Do you have a brain? Come on. Yeah, ball. Why are you? Why are you still supporting these people? What? Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, why? Just let me know what the re your reason is, and I'll let you know my answer. I, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys wanted to set up a, some virtual debate or something. I'd be down for that. All right. I want to hear why you believe government's appropriate, why you're buying in this whole crap. Absolutely. What part of it is making you believe them? I, I want to know because I, I just really do. I'm, it makes me curious. I'm curious. Me too. Anyway, we're going to play some more music here. Let's do that. Oop, the right button. And oh. I, I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Thanks for tuning in. And... Um, it's just uh, a weird time. So oh, I, I, saw, I saw I saw somebody what? in the I saw somebody in the chat earlier asking, "What channel is Freakers on?" Uh, I posted the that was Matt. No, 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 but no, no, he no, got no. him set up. He's listening. He's hearing my Wisconsin <laughs> art uh, accent. <laughs> I know. Just, just, I'm from Minnesota. But, I've been in Wisconsin for a while. It's like a combination Minnesota, Wisconsin, Fargo is accent. But a, 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 a better question would have been. <laughs> what what's the frequency, Kenneth? Right. What is it? Alright, you got the gong. Gong <laughs> I, I have no idea what the fuck that was. Oh yeah. Wow. Alright, uh that was a, a band called Pussifier. Pussifier? <laughs> like Pacifier during Apocalyptical. A song called Apocalyptic. Oh, God. I oh. did not like that. Oh, Rome's man. What the that hell was that? That had to be gong. That, that totally uh, was uh, like, what is this? All right. Anyway, before that, uh, we had Don, <laughs> Don McLean uh, doing Dylan's Masters of War on a banjo. Uh, and, and we Yay, kicked, banjo. And we kicked it off with a Benoit request there. R.E.M. What's the frequency, Kenneth? What is it? I don't know. Does anybody yeah. know? I don't know. Uh, I don't isn't know. that a uh, Walter, Walter Cronkite thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry uh, to trust no one, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was horrible. Yeah, no. That was bad. <laughs> that was, uh, I was like, what is this? <laughs> 
what the, is this? So as soon as those first few electronica notes popped out, I was yeah. like, <laughs> I was like, okay, this ah, has to go. Ah, 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 ah. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, speaking of vaccines, I found this tonight, and it's, this is Canada, but we have some people that listen that live in Canada, so Frumpy, um, Frumpy, Beth, are you out there? Beth, Frumpy, sir. Beth. He's the man up there in Toronto. Up there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Beth's out there listening anymore, but she's up there too. She is. Anyway, uh, there is this Vaccine Choice Canada website here, and it's all about voluntary consent and blah blah blah, and having the right to refuse vaccination. Which everyone should be, have the ability, everyone in the world should not be tricked into getting vaccinations that are harmful to you. That is insidious. Which is almost that is all evil. Of them. It is evil, dude. I mean, Bill Gates, he has blood on his hands of children, you guys. I mean, lots of it. Yeah. And he's not a good guy. And me and my kids have. Bu- um, bumped heads on this issue, but my my whole thing when I say to them, if you don't believe me, look it up and do your own research. Yeah. I've been researching this motherfucker. You know, I know what he's all about. Sure. They don't, right? Yeah. They just think he's like the face of Microsoft and he's a good guy. You know what I mean? Right. They're just twenty. They don't. You know what I mean? They haven't seen what I've seen. I mean, seriously, their whole outlook on life is totally different than mine because they grew up in a different era. Yeah. Um, which is every generation goes through that, you know. But at the same time, the more things change, the more things stay the same, right? Right. Certain things don't change. But, so there, you know, I, I've had to butt heads with these he- these kids and say, no, he's not a good guy. Oh, well, you're just saying that. It's just like, no, okay, well, then just look it up yourself. And look at look into this guy. You know, if you don't believe me, fine. And, like, I was having a conversation with somebody, I'm like, I don't go around telling people that I know everything and I'm what I'm saying is the truth. When I say something about something, it's because I know it's true. It's because I know that a lot of the things, it's historical documented fact. That can't be denied. Right? Right. Shit, this shit happened. You're going to tell me it didn't happen now all of a sudden? Uh, like, probably. Come on. The Gulf of Tonkin. That fucking happened. You know what that was? What was that, Grim? The Gulf of Tonkin was the false flag event. Yes. That happened over in the, I forget the name of the bay, uh... In Vietnam. Um, Bay of Pigs, was it? No, no, Bay of Pigs. That's Cuba. That's Cuba. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, over there in Vietnam, the Gulf. Oh, it's, oh I Zick forget the name of the bay. It's right there. Gulf of Tonkin. In the Gulf of Tonkin. Yep. <laughs> right, it's called the Gulf of Tonkin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so, so where the U.S. blew up one of their own ships, or said they blew up one of their own ships, they didn't actually blow anything up, um, uh, so that they could get into the Vietnam War. The Vietnam War. Right. 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 And is that documented historical fact? Absolutely, and the government yes, actually admitted it. And they've admitted it. The government so has you're going to actually... argue with me that that didn't happen? Bring it, bring it, bring it that that didn't happen. Bring it that that wasn't a false flag. Right. You can't because it's historical fact. They've admitted it. So right. you know they're capable of doing this shit. Think of all the false flags that's happened since then. Tons. Because we're talking double talking. That was what sixty what? Grim? I don't know. Sixty-eight somewhere in there. No, sixty-eight, no, 60, something 60, like that. Sixty-four. Okay. 64. Okay. So now we're in twenty twenty, and think through back how many fucking false flags they've done since then. Tons. Tons. A, a, a lot. And they admitted it. But then they'll say, "Oh, that's a, that's that's how war operates." It's like, excuse me. Yeah, well, that's how they start all wars. They start all wars with a false flag. Right. Yeah. It's like, w- what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, come on, people. Really? 
Do not follow the clap. Use your own freaking brain. Do your own research. And someone's like, well, where do we do our research? It's like, go to the fucking goddamn USA government website and look at all the shit they've released that's available to the public for viewing. You know, there are places to go to find this information. Absolutely. So, you know, my kids are like, oh, you just go to some conspiracy website and, you, you know, it's like, no, 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 no. No, no, C- no. CNN is a conspiracy website. C- what? CNN is a conspiracy website. Exactly. They're the ones telling you all the conspiracy lies. They're the ones pushing out the 9-11 nonsense. Right. Uh, you know, that, like, oh, hello? this is all true. Uh, you go to Facebook. Fa- guys- <sighs> Uh, Facebook. Facebook is a conspiracy website. They, yeah. They will ban you or knock all your information off there if you say anything other than the official line. They are a conspiracy website. Exactly. Uh, YouTube. YouTube is a conspiracy website. All these sites yep. that you think are are some kind of authority on whatever, right. they are the liars. They are the conspiracy tellers. Yep. Uh, they, they they are the ones spreading the the bad information. Uh, the yep. fake news, if you will. <laughs> and if you believe them, I feel bad for you. If that's where you're getting your information and that's how you're making your decisions, yeah. I feel really bad for you because that means you're not thinking for yourself and you're not seeing this for what it is. Absolutely. No matter yeah. how you cut it, you can sit there and defend it all you want, yeah. but you're not seeing it. Oh, yeah. You're not. Right. So, you know, you, you really need to quit. I would, I would seriously... Quest, start questioning your own thoughts. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Try. Try it thinking for yourself. Just try it. Okay. A little bit, you know. Okay, let's size this one up. Okay. This is on a website called newspunch.com. Chelsea Clinton on board of trustees for contact tracing group funded by Bill Gates and George Soros. Well, that's not surprising because she's Clinton's kid, and she's married to that fucking Jewish banker's kid. Yep. So. Yep. So they're they're in the they're in the club. We uh, all know that. Uh, Massachusetts Governor Charlie Barker has chosen a group called Partners in Health to conduct coronavirus contact tracing. Uh, contact tracing. We already know what that is. Uh, the group, which was received funding, which has received funding and still receiving funding from Soros and Gates, has Chelsea Clinton on its board. Oh uh, my God! Imagine that! Oh, uh, big shocker there. Uh, Nationalfile.com reports the group is already training and deploying hundreds of contact tracers. We already heard there's going to be over a quarter million of them. Some citizens fear uh, the potential. For mass surveillance. It's not potential. It will be absolute mass surveillance. Posed by contact tracing, especially in light of a Democrat-introduced bill in Congress to authorize contact tracing at individuals' residences. Wonderful! Yes! (laughs) Oh, this is so... I love freedom! I Uh, love freedom! If this is the definition of freedom, I don't love it! Okay? (laughs) I do not love it! Because yeah. it ain't freedom. And it never has been. Partner, Wake up. Partners in health's involvement will not assuage many fears, considering the group has received funding from Soros and Gates and counts Chelsea Clinton on the board of trustees. Trustees. You're supposed to trust her? Is that what that means? Uh, uh, partners in health lists George Soros Open Society Foundations as an official partner, along with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundations. Uh, Partners in Health lists Open Society Foundations on its 2015 annual report as a supporter to the tune of $1 million or above, along with Gates Foundation. Chelsea Clinton serves... Oh, you keep repeating yourself here. What, what's going on with you idiots? All right. Uh, Partners in Health uh, co-founder Paul Farmer, Achievement.org bio notes, Farmers, uh, farmers work attracted the support of Philanthropists, including Soros and in the Gates Foundation. Uh, uh, all you need to know. That wasn't a fart. That was me going. It was a fart. All right. All right. Fart. I farted. So I, I, there's there's more in there on that story if you want to read it, but 
Holy hell. <laughs> what does it take to convince you? Where is your line in the sand? Or whatever. They'll do a ground. Where is your line? How much of this are you going to put up with? How much tyranny are you going to fucking put up with? It's, it's, there's, there's, you can continue to put up with. That was no, not it a... wasn't that free. It wasn't from that part of my body. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to burst your bubble. There's, there's story after story. Uh, this, this article posted up an activist post by John Whitehead. The worst is yet to come. Contact tracing, immunity cards, and mass testing. Contact tracing is like Nazi fucking Germany. Things. Okay. The things we we were worried about, we were worried would happen, are happening. That's according to Ang Angus Johnson, professor at uh, the New York City University. No one is safe. No one is immune. No one gets spared the anguish, fear, and heartache of living under the shadow of an authoritarian military, militarized state, military state. It says police state, but, you know, whatever. Uh, that's the message being broadcast 24-7 with every new piece of government propaganda, every new law that criminalizes otherwise lawful activity, every new policeman on the beat, every new surveillance camera casting a watchful eye, every sensationalist news story that titillates and distracts every new prison or detention center built to house troublemakers and other undesirables, every new court ruling that gives government agents a green light to strip and steal and rape and ravage the citizenry, every school that opts to indoctrinate rather than educate, and every new justification for why Americans should comply with the government's attempts to trample the Constitution underfoot. Right. Well, it's already been done, that, yeah. technically. But people still think, people, dumb people still think the Constitution exists in its full original form, which it does not, it since does. the Patriot Act and since the NDAA, which most people don't even fucking know what the fuck that is either. Right. They're all like, oh, yeah, the Patriot Act, we needed that because of 911. It's like, dude, you're an idiot. Right. They say, oh, NDAA, yeah. that's, that's, that's just authorizing that's the, uh, military spending. Yeah, uh, no, you know, no, no problem. Yeah. They have no idea what they're talking about. They're just like, oh, yeah, it's a good thing. It's like, dude, you don't, you're an idiot because you have no idea what you're talking about. Exactly. I mean, you, you, you're taking CNN's word for it, so that therefore that's what it's a huge strike against you. Yeah. Anyway, going on anyway. a little bit, going on a little bit here with this article. Uh, yes, COVID-19 has taken a significant toll on the nation emotionally, physically, and economically. But there are still greater dangers on the horizon. As long as, quote, we the people, unquote, continue to allow the government to trample our rights in this so-called name of national security, things will get worse, not better. It's already worse. Now there's talk of mass testing for COVID-19 antibodies, screening checkpoints, contact tracing, immunity passports to allow those who have recovered from the virus to move around more freely, and snitch tip lines for reporting rule breakers to authority. If you can't read the writing on the wall, you need to pay better attention. This may seem like small, necessary steps in the war against corona, but they're only necessary to the police state, to the military state, in its efforts to further undermine the Constitution, extend its control over the populace, and feed its insatiable appetite for ever greater powers. Nothing is ever as simple as the government claims it is. All right, I'll, I'll give you the link here, and it'll be in the uh, post show blog, but there's a lot more to this story. I think you get the idea. I think you understand where these guys, where this guy is coming from. He's actually, he's a pretty good writer. Um, John Whitehead is worth your time uh, looking. No, at. I'm just saying, okay. Yeah, John Whitehead. From what what website was that, Grim? Activist Post. Oh, active. oh, John Whitehead. Oh, yeah, I've read some of his stuff before. And this might, um, this, what? I'm, just, I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> 
Why? Travel by Turtles just released a uh, cover of uh, Whiskey Official Quarantine today, just now. They just released it. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. So, sorry, I just saw that and I'm like, ah! Because that's like my favorite song, but one of my favorite songs by them. Like, totally, I just love that song so much. <laughs> try, like, try, okay. Try your request again, Barman didn't pick up on it. Oh, crap. Yeah, he did. No, right no, there. no. He, he, that's, that's just re- reporting the title. You would see request added. Oh, the yeah, request grant. I probably did that space thing again. Uh, no, I don't know. Sometimes he does that. It, yeah, it, it, I was it, so excited. I'm like, ah! It, it, it's kind of, there you go. Um, all right, I got it. Okay. <laughs> all right. So anyway, um, okay. uh, this is this next one is one you may want to tell, talk to your dad about or tell your okay. dad tell your dad about. Mm-hmm. Uh, on um, technocracy news, Blaylock face masks pose serious risks to the healthy. Oh yeah, I saw this one this week. Yes, yes. they do because, like I was saying, you want to. Breathe in the good and expel the bad. Right. You keep ex- breathing in the bad. What are you? You're gonna get sick. You're gonna get sick. I'm just saying. Don't eat re- ravioli in the can. The cans have have lead joiners in them. <laughs> you don't want to heat the, the 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 canned food in the can. That's bad for you. All right. So Dr. Russell Blaylock warns that not only do face masks fail to protect the healthy from getting sick, but they also create serious health risks to the wearer. The bottom line is this is that if you are sick, you should not wear face mask. Uh, right. You should not. If you are healthy, do not wear one. You're hurt, harming yourself more by doing it. Oh, okay. That's good for you. Um, <laughs> so as businesses reopen, many are requiring shoppers and employees to wear a face mask. Costco, for instance, will not allow shoppers into the store without wearing a face mask. Many employers are requiring all employees to wear a face mask while at work, so sitting there for eight hours. Uh, In some jurisdictions, uh, all citizens must wear a face mask if they are outside of their home. Uh, with the well, ad- that's that's ridiculous. I see people walking around outside in the fresh air with a mask on, that's or ridiculous. driving in their car with a mask on. It's like you fucking moron. It's nuts. What? It's nuts. What's wrong with you? You're dumb. Okay. You're, uh, 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 drives me nuts. With the advent of the so-called COVID nineteen pandemic, we have seen a number of medical practices that have little or no scientific support as regards reducing the spread of the infection. One of these measures is the wearing of facial masks. Right. Either, either the surgical type mask, bandana, or N95 respirator. Anything. When yeah, the, anything that happens your 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 normal breathing process. Right. When this pandemic began and we knew little about the virus itself or its epidemiological behavior, it was assumed that it would behave in terms of spread among communities, like other respiratory viruses. Little has presented itself after intense study of this virus and its behavior to change this perception. Uh, This is somewhat of an unusual virus in that the vast majority of people infected by the virus, one experiences either no illness, asymptomatic, or very little sickness. Right, or, see, I don't buy that at all. That's bull crap. I know I, I'm sick, and I, I'm not fucking sick. You're well, not going to tell me and convince me that I'm sick. I don't buy it either, because you? any any corona, you? I'm not sick. Any coronavirus in your body, which could be a cold, uh, just a cold germ, w- would show up as a coronavirus. Only a very small number of people are at risk of potentially serious outcomes from the infection. Mainly those with underlying serious medical conditions in conjunction with advanced age and frailty. Those with immune compromising conditions and nursing home patients near the end of their lives. There is growing evidence that the treatment protocol issued to treating doctors by the CDC, mainly intubation and use of ventilator, may have contributed significantly to the high death rate in those select individuals. The article goes on. Lots of scientific information here. Share this with your father. 
Uh, just send them. Just send them the link. I will. I, I'll. Tr- so, I will. I, I've I sent mean, them a couple of different links. I sent them the one about the Woodstock uh, pandemic, the, the pandemic that went on during Woodstock. Yeah. And but, he said it was a very interesting article, and that he wasn't even aware that that was going on at the time. Well, well he he's like, where were you at the time? I'm like, Minnesota. He's like, no, you were at uh, the army base. And you're like, oh yeah, you were three years old. What are you doing? I was, I was a baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was a baby. All right, we're so, gonna. Uh, yeah, uh, but yeah. He, he did. I mean, I think I'm slowly but surely like, you know, you get you gotta give it to some people in small doses. You can't just like, I mean, you could just put it all at them all at once, but they're just gonna fucking draw zone you out. You know what yeah, I mean? Well, just dump that into his his email inbox and. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean. Uh, he, I will do that. I say that only because you said that he sent masks to you guys. He did. Yeah, and, and he and, is. And yeah. he's, he's okay. always asking if you're wearing a mask and. Right. Like, yeah. So I will send this to him, yeah, and you yeah, know he yeah. might like hate me worse, but you know whatever. Oh, whatever. He won't, he won't, he won't hate. Me. Right, he won't ever hate. We're gonna, we're gonna play. We're gonna play some more music here. Okay. Um, but just one thing. Okay. Free and slave just said. Breathing, rebreathing your exhaled your exhaled air can cause hypoxia. Yes, it can make you sick. Your body's designed to inhale and exhale all of it freely. If you got a mask on, right? If you got a mask on, you're inhibiting that process. Absolutely. That is not a good thing for you. All, all right, right, let's hear it, Graham. Okay, this first song. Um, uh, when I when I first saw this, I thought, wow, that could be my grandma. I would love to have that woman as a grandma, but she's probably about old enough to be my mother, not really old enough to be my grandma. So, but but just you know, when you see it, when you see the video, you'll understand. All right. So here you go. Okay, uh, people, thank you for tuning in, everyone. This is this is uh, Beverly Guitar Watkins. All right, that's a little. Uh, Green sky bluegrass there for y'all by a request by Moose Girl. Um, it's called Do It Alone a Togetherness Project. Very interesting, good stuff. Uh, before that, we had uh, I, I, Phil X and the Drills covering Led Zeppelin's Black Dog. Phil X in the Drills, a very nice job on that. And we kicked it off with Rock Me Baby by Beverly Guitar Watkins and the Rick Fowler Band. So, uh, yeah, it's all good stuff, man. All good stuff. So you got anything uh, final comments here? Well, not quite final, but... Uh, fi- no. <laughs> <laughs> that went by fast. It went did. faster than usual. Yeah, so, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Have a good weekend. Wait, and we're, uh, not done, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Right. No, we have another set and everything. So. Well, not another set. Uh, just one yeah. more song. Just one more song here. Oh, one more song. Okay. And uh, we'll be right back after this, and then we'll say goodnight. Yeah, we will. Okay, yeah. enjoy. Enjoy the last one. Enjoy, fun. indeed. Ha! <laughs> Black Betty! <laughs> Christopher Amoroso. I love that version of Black Betty, boy. That's just freaking awesome. Uh, anyway, that's going to wrap it up for us here tonight. Um, unless you got anything else you want to say, Moose? Moose? Uh, no, not right now. Uh, no. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I hear you. I hear somebody else. Oh, talking. okay. Sorry. I, I, hear somebody I forgot talking. to switch over to the... Oh. No, I'm good. Uh, everyone, um, just, uh, hang in there. Keep on keeping on. Think... Please keep thinking for yourself. And if you're not, please start doing it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, come on. Do you really want to have a else? brain for a reason? Don't do you, let it go idle. Do you, do you Don't really, let it be a sheeple brain. Do you, do you really want somebody else doing your thinking? Right. Exactly. Come on now. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Well, uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, we'll be back again next week with another episode of The Freakers Ball. Uh, tomorrow will be the dork table. Sunday, I will be on with the blues, and Hal Anthony will be on after me. Check the schedule on RailerBeMedia.com Yes, for all please. of the other shows right here. And one more thing. One more thing. Yeah. Be nice. Yeah. Be nice to each other. Be nice, damn it. 
Right. <laughs> Come on now. All right. All right. Peace. Peace.